Happy 4th of July. Hello, Jeff Cowan here from Jeff Cowan's Pro Talk. Thank you for watching and listening. I love the 4th of July and everything it stands for. I mean, it's the pinnacle of summer. It's family, it's friends, and it's fun. From the celebration of the very first one, our forefathers knew it would be a date that would be celebrated indefinitely. As a matter of fact, John Adams, in a letter to his wife Abigail, said this about the 4th of July once the Declaration of Independence was signed and passed by Congress. He said, I'm apt to believe that it will be celebrated by succeeding generations as the great anniversary festival. It ought to be commemorated as the day of deliverance by solemn acts of devotion to God Almighty. It ought to be solemnized with pomp and parade, with shows, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, and illuminations from one end of this continent to the other from this time forward forevermore. Now, I know that when you work in retail sales like we do, that many of us will be working on the 4th. We may not get to participate in all of the festivities, but there is a way that we can still honor our forefathers and create our own festivities. That is by being the best you can be on that day. Hey, if you have to work like millions of us will be doing, why not go for it? Let's be the best we can be, and by doing so, we can honor not only our forefathers who gave it all so that we may have these freedoms, but all who have laid it on the line so that we may enjoy all that we enjoy. Now, being a history buff, I've always felt indebted to all of those who came before us and have made the sacrifices they have, not just for themselves, but for future generations they would never know. And these people are not all people from the past. I mean, you're surrounded by them now. Think about it. The business owner you work for at some point laid it all on the line so you have the employment opportunity you now have. They bought the land your business sits on. They built the building you now work in. They have it inventoried with thousands, if not by millions of dollars of inventory. I mean, they've done their job. To do what they've done, at some point, they laid it all on the line. Now, likewise, your managers have done their job. I mean, they've advertised to get your customers to visit you. They've made phone calls, written emails, sent letters, and worked social media to ensure that you have customers to work with. And now that that customer is here and in front of you, it will be up to you to determine whether or not you will be successful with them or not. And that will be determined by how prepared you are. I mean, do you know the steps to being successful? Do you know the word tracks? Do you have the desire that it will create the needed persistence that it will take to close the deal? I mean, have you developed your skill to a level that will allow you to accomplish all of this in the utmost professional way possible? Now, unfortunately, at this juncture in our country's history, too many feel like they are being overtaxed by being required to work on days like the 4th because they feel someone owes them something. This is a loser's mentality. I mean, if you know our country's great history, then you know it's not us who are owed, it is us that owe. We owe it to our forefathers, the soldiers, and our business owners to be the best we can be at every turn, and especially on days like the 4th of July. Being the best we can be, we are telling them all. We respect what they have sacrificed. We are telling the world that we are proud to be free and we are proud to be American. So if you're one of the lucky ones who get to enjoy all of the 4th of July festivities with your families, then do just that, enjoy it. If you're one of the many that will not get to participate in all the celebrations, then make your own fireworks and light the world on fire with your success. Give yourself something to celebrate. I mean, join the club of being one of the ones that makes it possible for others to enjoy the freedoms we will all be celebrating this and every 4th of July. Hey, Jeff Cowan here. Thank you for watching and listening. What you just heard here is how pros talk, think, and act.